Hello, welcome to another Gunna Model Version 2 video. That is the Gogu Cannon, and I got two matches here for you. I got the, this first one here is going to be around the time it was buffed, uh, either late August, early September. And the second match, oh, I should say this is also a ace match at 650 on Impact Site. And the second match is going to be with friends recently, I want to say two days ago, depending on when this video gets posted. And uh, yeah, City ruined 650 as well. Coincidentally, both are 650. I actually had some at 600 and 550, but uh, maybe I'll post those, post those at, a, at a later time. But uh, yeah, if you notice the title of the other uh, video, is called Buffed or Scuffed. And I was thinking about having a little little, little series idea. It doesn't have to be like a, a very constant thing, right? Where I just take a look at some of the older suits that were uh, that were buffed. And seeing how they, how they, how they uh, match up nowadays to, uh, to the current standards of GBO2. And uh, the reason I say scuffed, which is kind of a weird thing to say when, if a suit gets, you know, if positive things start happening to the suit, that means they just, they're just buffed outright, right? Well, not necessarily, because there could be some suits that get buffed, but they're still not as strong as they could be. Or, you know, in the case of the, uh, you know, recently, the, the Gym Sniper 2 White Dingo, they actually get worse. Because <laughs> if you guys want to know about that, uh, yeah, the Gym Sniper 2 White Dingo was buffed to where it could, uh, walk while charging its uh its rifle and it did worse it, it, it I, I that's more so i guess for the, the players doing that than the suit itself but still that that was definitely a big scuff moment <laughs> so so yeah I, I think buffed or scuffed is a, is, a, is a decent title you know and also it rhymes so it sounds kind of sound, sounds kind of cool you know so there we go and now we're talking about the gogu cannon if you guys don't know the gogu cannon is one of the one of my first suits i've gotten in the game and if you guys don't know, yeah, I started around September 2019, maybe November, yeah, it's definitely September. And during that time, uh, for the new players, they had it to where if you can do the special roll and you could get either the Full Armor Gundam or the Gelgu Cannon. I got the Gelgu Cannon, thank God, because uh, later on at that point I got the, uh, the Full Armor Gundam and I thought it wasn't as good. Uh, <laughs> and the Gelgu Cannon did help me out a lot at the... Uh, at my D rating matches, you know, climbing up, I was like, "Oh wow, I get two stuns! That's so cool! I, I can follow up with the with the great with, with the with the rockets! Wow, the missiles! My my bad, the missiles!" <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then you know, as soon as I met some better players, uh, the, the you know the, the the meta started evolving. More supports came out, and I got more supports. Uh, the flaws of the Goku Cannon started to stand out more. Uh, but uh, yeah, here we are. It's got buffed, and uh, we'll see how the unit adjustment for this unit worked out. And as you can see, we are doing, first of all, a fuck ton of damage. <laughs> I focused a ton of range strength on this suit. The, uh, pretty much all range strength related. Uh, there might have been a health part in there as well. I can't remember if the Gelger Cannon has 23 or 24,000 health starting out. Maybe it's even lower. But, uh, let's see, I think I have 71 range strength on this bad boy, and then I added, uh, educational program, which gives me plus 3% more damage, and I take 3% less damage, and in the halfway part of, in a halfway point in a match, it'll go up to, I believe, 8%, so that's 8% more range damage, uh, and damage overall, and if, I, I think I have the ranged, over, the overtuned range part, and how that works is for every level of a suit you have, your percent will go up, the damage percent will go up by 3 to a cap at 10%. So that's a plus 18% more damage on top of the 71 range strength. And yeah, you can tell by the way I, I, I hit some of these generals and even raids that yeah, it just hurts. It hurts a lot. Uh, like half health O's and shit. Uh, there's one point in this match where even the missile launchers, although he might have been a 600 Hakushiki Kai, uh, I was doing 1,000 damage per shot with that. So let's say let's say the average damage for both the beam rifle and the bazooka is 4,000. Uh, yeah. So first of all, if those two hit, that's 8,000 damage. You add three 1,000s after that, that's 11,000. And you're close enough to a melee that can add another two, three k. You know, so that's uh, that's pretty crazy for for like short burst damage. Now, unfortunately. Uh, it's not going to happen as consistently as I'm making out to be, or as easily as I'm making out to be, because you know you don't ever, you never know what's going to happen in a match, right? But uh, certainly though, that is that is pretty pretty damn good. Now we're walking up to a part where aces are about to get selected, and there's going to be a moment that that 
I'll, I'll have to explain myself because the BR elite is about to get swarmed by three people. Aces are about to get selected. In my mind, I want them to kill our raid because uh, if he, I notice he's been doing kind of good. I don't want him to become the ace. If if I hit one of these enemies and the Bjarlant doesn't, or the Bjarlant, the Bondok doesn't die, he might become the ace and he'll live. And look at that, he became the ace. So I'm glad I didn't like stick my nose in for too for too much there, right? I just shot the, the zero shiki. So I I my guess was right, and I will take punishment for letting my teammate die like that. Uh, <laughs> I had a good intention, but you know what? I'm gonna get ganked by uh, a lot of people here. <laughs> as soon as I fired my goddamn weapon, my bazooka, I just got fucking mercilessly gunned down. Jesus Christ. And hey, I didn't get killed by, <laughs> by the ace too. <laughs> Holy shit. But uh, yeah, anyway, now we're getting on to what they actually buffed about the suit in the unit adjustments. In late August, early September. Now this suit has three things that was buffed about it. Technically four. Uh, the health was buffed by a thousand points so it went from 17,000 this is going off the level one stats so it was 17,000 and went to 18,000 and of course you know the higher levels it goes up uh, so that's, that's, I'm not too big on on, uh, on health anyway so that's something I'm like yeah yeah sure whatever uh, the sub weapon the arm 3 tube missile launcher the power was increased from 350 to 375 which that also goes up of course depending on your level and I think they should have went ahead and made it 400 it's a just 375, but uh, you know it's fine. There's still a buff, you know, more damage. Maybe they should increase the stagger rate. They should maybe not make it to where it it uh, it staggers outright if all three missiles hit, or even two or lower, whatever they want to do, right? Three or two lower. <laughs> Imagine that stuns in one hit. Holy shit! But you know what I mean, right? I think they should just give it a little bit of a of a, of a stagger accumulation buff, so that way at 450, since there's not. You know, there's a lot more different kind of variety of, of suits that aren't using instant stuns. Maybe that can help support people that way to get a stun accumulation. Um, so they, they could do something like that, I think. But uh, I'm fine with the more damage. Uh, the big thing, though, the big buff here is that the sub-weapon, the shoulder beam cannon, the reload has been shortened from 18 seconds to 13. And not only that, they buffed how fast it shoots. <laughs> that is a uh, that is pretty good. That means the damage output is way more consistent. That is very very helpful. And as you can see, I, I, like I said, I, I I've been getting there's moments where I'll do the combo on somebody. You know, I do bazooka beam right or beam shoulder beam cannon into bazooka. And, you know, maybe I get they get closer to me and I have to, like, ready up some other stuff going on, right? And uh, thankfully in that time, hey, the beam cannon is there. It's readied up. Oh, wow. I can fire at them again. <laughs> you know? You have moments like that where it's definitely, yeah, again, it's definitely a lot more consistent. And that, I think that's the best thing for this suit is because uh, you guys don't know the shoulder beam cannon overheats when you shoot it. So now that it does, I say now that it doesn't, now that uh, it comes out of the overheat faster, yeah, that's just straight up better. But hey, mission completed, how are we doing our first match today? Not on the board, but I will definitely be praising the Bondock, holy shit, you're, you're a pretty good player there, sir. And hey, third place, 5-3, and three, got 111k damage, don't mind that at all. And I should have up to 113k, right? Either way, a lot of damage. <laughs> with, with the uh, the Goog cannon here. Now we're on to the second match with friends, and we'll see how we do uh, supporting them. Oh man, I forgot to mention I did almost 6,500 individual score that match too. But yeah, as you can see, we got the Bjarnland custom, and we have uh, James in the why am I forgetting the name of it? The almost of the Tra C. That makes no sense at all. The Char de J. There we go. And I had to be really careful for this map because. This is a more close range oriented map, and this is 650. There are a lot of suits that are very, very good at handling the situation. And, you know, a lot of players are used to playing this map in other maps close to it, like Arctic Base or just closer range maps in general. So they're very, very acute in, uh, if that's the right word I'm going for, they're, they're very well realized on how to use their suit at these kind of maps, right? So I have to be very careful. 
But, you know, then I go ahead and tackle right in the middle of, a, of an O. But, you know, I try, I try to save myself from getting stunned. So I, I'll let that be, right? <laughs> I got some good damage off on the O. But, uh, yeah, you know, J James and the Bjarnland Custom will definitely be helping me out against the enemy raid, the Bondock. I believe the Bjarnland Custom will be constantly harassing him, uh, even using his heavy attack to get in there. Make sure he's out of the sky. Uh, James... For the moment, I'm not in the match. When I, when I do die to the Bondock or die to um, anybody else and I'm out of the match, he will use his Heavy Stagger to get him out of the sky, which is good because you don't want the Bondock harassing you and then getting close with the melee. The Bondock has some pretty good uh, melee combos. You don't want him to get close. Um, so thankfully, James, was, even though it does spend the all the ammo of the JCA, you know, getting a heavy stagger and then getting the confirm off that heavy stagger is really good because the JCA has really great range combos with, like, the Sturmfaust. So get the heavy stagger, go in the Sturmfaust, there you go, damage right there. But, uh, yeah, anyway, back to the Gelgu Cannon. Yeah, overall, the Gelgu Cannon just feels a lot more consistent in getting its damage off. And since I have focused so much on range, uh, that is definitely make <laughs> it makes the suit a lot more, uh, a lot more scarier to handle if you're below half health or, you know, <laughs> at a quarter of your health because you're, like, one-shot range. Hey, but then again, there are still suits I think I would rather pick at 650, which I think should be obvious because, I mean, at this point, the Gelgu Cannon is, what, level 5? And it, the, the flaws are have already been noted on this suit quite often. Uh, you know, there's just a lot, lot better suits in terms of versatility and how it can how you know the suit works at the cost uh the gelgu cannon as i said can do hefty damage but you are a slow suit you uh you're a big suit to hit as well which is not that great at at a, at a cost like 650 you know or even 600 actually anything that has a lot of stun stuns right to go around uh it also <laughs> It has two instant stuns, but one of them has to overheat and ready up again. Uh, and you don't really have much in terms of uh, accumulation staggers. I mean, the, the, the missile launcher does do a lot of damage, but, uh, you know, it also help if you can stun them while getting that damage. <laughs> so there's still suits at 650 or, you know, other costs that I will prefer pl to, to play. Yeah, well, I will play over this. Yeah, there we go. You know, like uh, to 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 mention stuff, the full armor Haikushiki full armor Haikushiki Kai is uh one of the best supports in the game, and it's a suit I like to play personally. It it does quite well at 650. It's it can be a pretty scary suit. It, it can do the damage the Gogo Cannon can do, but also get stun accumulations, and has force injectors, and it has a defensive option in terms of the I believe it's called the I field. Where you can't potentially you can survive a stun, you know, uh, you won't get stunned, or you know a heavy a heavy stagger beam attack can turn into a normal stagger, so that's definitely a lot more helpful than the Galgu cannon, or you know if you're using it uh, at 500, you know I you know going off a lot of the costs we have here at 500, I like playing the Zusa. The Zusa has one of the best defensive options. You have the AOE missiles that will just halt a raid in front of you. You can just say no. Stop! Stop charging me! Stop that! <laughs> you know, or uh, at at six hundred, you know, we got something like the Angelo's uh, Girazulu, where the Angelo's Girazulu has the shotgun beam, which can actually stop maneuver armor. That can be very helpful against a ray that's charging you, and it also does a lot of damage as well. And if you're using the the uh, oh poor zero, he did a dodge roll. <laughs> I forgot to mention zero clove and uh, arm. Are on the enemy team. Clove and and uh, an arm are, are new to the uh, to the voice chat for our PS4 games. Uh, you guys probably seen them around in uh, some of some of the custom match friends videos and uh, in uh, spectator matches. But anyway, back to what I was saying. <laughs> Actually, I kind of lost my train of thought. Oh, you know, uh, the Angelo's uh, Girazilla is pretty pretty good as well. Uh, you know, I, I have mentioned I really like playing the Full Armor Mark III. Full Armor Mark III can even bully raids, uh, you know, depending on how it gets its stuns. It has stun accumulation as well. So the Gelga Cannon, I I think it's a lot better. I To answer the question between buffed or scuffed, it's definitely buffed. Uh, it's just that it's just not as good as those suits. And honestly, you can still do fine with it. 
However, I I wouldn't take it like I, I'd play this a lot and click. I, I would play this a lot for quick match, and you know customs with friends and I, and I have, <laughs> like I mentioned, I got some I got a few recordings of this, but uh, it's not something I'd bring out for rating. Rating six fifty. I yeah no not the Goku Cannon. I'd pick I'd pick the uh, Thorn Rakishiki. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, definitely it, it's better, and you can actually do something with it as you saw from the first match, and even moments in the second match where I'll hit somebody for a lot of damage. Yeah, the there's something the Goku Cannon can do during the match. You know, it's not waiting to get that Beam Cannon to shoot again. Um, it, it, again, like I said, it's more consistent. But uh, anyway, to finish off the rest of this match, now that I talked a lot about the Goku Cannon, as you can see, 12,000 to 13,000. It's a very close match. And we're about to hit the one minute mark on the match. So actually, no, the last minute. I should say the one minute mark. That'd be like, what, seven minutes in the match? <laughs> Either way, we're going to try and get this Bondock out of the match uh, for the last se uh, minute here. Or at least as much as possible because I need to get these generals out of the way. And I, again, I'm doing a lot of damage to uh, to these generals. As you'll see, the O will take a nice fat 3,000 damage. And if you saw earlier, I did 4,000 with the, uh, the beam cannon. Hit both of those. Yeah, O, o definitely felt that. Ooh, Rebawu. Ooh, nice dodge roll. But don't worry, that means he doesn't have another one. So walk up slowly, do the downswing, down on the ground. Hopefully he gets up and we can fuck him up. Because he will be surviving just barely. Actually, <laughs> I remember what happens now. He's going to run away. And this is the first time, and, and probably the only time I'll ever see this, is a Rebawu running away from a Gelgo Cannon. And then just getting <laughs> fucking murdered by it. <laughs> oh, shit. And yeah, you can see, oh my god, James is just cleaning up house down there. You can see on the, on the, the list there, the kill list. One, two, three. I think that was three? Aw, oh, man, some of it went away, though. But yeah, he, he, he that's one of his favorite suits to play, the uh, the JCA. And, and yeah, he, he can do quite well with it. Oh, there's the Monarch again. And instead of shooting him, I shot my teammate, so uh, that was pretty helpful of me. But don't worry, everybody's going to live. Yay! <laughs> and mission completed. And we'll see how we did today in this match with the Goku Cannon. Mission completed. I like how I gave uh, an eye to the talk one icon there on the Goku Cannon. And hey, top assist. Definitely going to be praising James. And I think the BR the custom? Someone else? Hey, second place though. Five and three. And uh, still over 100k damage. And pretty nice, uh, you know, assist and uh, individual score. So yeah, that is the Goku Cannon. And I got to say, yeah, it's definitely, again, as I mentioned, it's, it's a buffed suit. It's not scuffed. It's buffed. Uh, there's maybe a thing I, I think I would have changed. That's maybe give it a little bit more stagger accumulation on the missile launcher and just go ahead and make the damage 400 instead of 375. <laughs> to me, it's like it's like it might as well just go the go the full way there. No reason to keep inching closer like that. But uh, yeah, I can I can I can say I I can definitely see myself playing this more. I did mention that I did play this suit every now and then before it got buffed as a little. Little, little, just a little fun suit to play. Maybe, perhaps even a troll, you know. Who knows? But, <laughs> we do a little trolling around here. <laughs> but, uh, I can definitely see myself playing this just so I can shoot somebody for, uh, for 8,000k. And then, uh, 8,000k. What the fuck? 8k. And then, uh, you know, throw in some missiles, get some more damage out of that. And if you guys seen, I believe, this month's, which would be September... September's Hell in a Cell, I think, yeah, I believe I picked the Gelgu Cannon, and since I was playing Arctic Base, and a lot of people were playing raids, I was doing 11k damage with just the Beam Shoulder Cannon on, uh, on Generals and Raids. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that, I can see picking the Gelgu Cannon for Brawl Match 2, just to, just to utterly wipe the fuck out of people. <laughs> God damn. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you want. I'd really appreciate it. And type up in the... I think I already said this, but I'm going to say it again. Type up in the comment section how you feel about the Gelgu Cannon. If you like it or you hate it. And let me know how you feel about this uh, this idea, the buffed or scuffed. If I can make... You know, would you be interested to see more? Uh, I'll probably pick one suit out of the unit adjustments to make a video on when they do the unit adjustments. Maybe I can do more. You know, I, I definitely want to try out the... Uh, the Gabaldi High Mobility Alpha, since that was buffed as well. And that was a suit that I was highly requesting to get buffed 
because that suit, I could already tell playing it the first time when I got I got it, it just needed help. Uh, but, you know, it did get buffed, and I have been seeing a lot more uh, when it was buffed. <laughs> Not recently, so uh, maybe I can take a look at that as well. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.